What is up? This is what my latest uh, thing. It's weird, I know, but it's pretty fun and you might have recognized it from this video before. So uh, I'm just going to show you how it's done and how it was printed and I'll get back to you in a few seconds. So check it out. So one of the first things that happened was that I printed it. Well, I printed it in PLA um, using the guider, uh, the old guider, not the guider 2. And as you can see, it did it well without any overhangs. And I think that is pretty impressive. Uh, so I just dragged this out. I know it's not the preferred way because there is a removable build plate, but yeah, you know, I want to be a rebel sometimes. So the finish was really good. I then turned to the sixth, which is a master of printing uh, TPU. So I used the, the one in the office in, in, at Creative Tools in Stockholm. And as you can see, it's just doing TPU like a charm. It's perfect. I mean, it's as good as it can get. So uh, great using TPU from uh, Echo in that one. And it's also pretty fun to remove TPU because <laughs> as you can see, it's quite, it's quite soft. So you could almost tear it off, but that's not really what I want to do. You see, this is super flexible. It's not too much, but it's um, it's quite okay. I actually turned out to uh, to make another one of these um, uh, scrapers. So, with different types of application, you can use different types of scrapers, which I think is pretty fun. You can see here how it flexes and how it would would bend like over stuff if you're gonna wipe stuff or just yeah, I don't know, de dust things. <laughs> So then the highlight of this model is of course the ability to interchange the uh, the nozzles here. So not <laughs> nozzles, ah, too much into the pretty thinking word. To interchange the blades here. So you just plug these blades in and you snap it in all these, um, these solutions here. And it does work with soft materials. It works okay with hard materials as well. But it's it, if you want to design something for this, you'll find the files of course in the description. But you can use either hard models or soft models, but soft will work a little bit better. You see I'm struggling a little bit there with, uh, with the tolerances. But yeah, there's a finished blade and you can see that it's, uh, it's doing its function. In the background there you can see also a little bit thicker blade that I made just in case. Now as you see here, the edges are flopping around a little bit, so I do have made, uh, sorry, I did make some changes in the actual file. So when you download this model, if you want to do it, you will see that the files are changed so the, the, um, um, the scraper is all the way out to the edge. So then of course what you can do if you want to just swap one out and put another one on. Depends on what you need and how you want to use it of course. So there we have a little bit thicker blade. It's still soft so I mean you can still don't have to worry about like yeah scraping and, and stuff like that. You can see here, <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, but you can see how it moves over the object. So if you wanna, let's say you wanna wipe the floor or just clean up some mess in the kitchen, you can do that. There's a super dirty window. We can, let's see if we can clean it up a little bit. So first, all we have to do is just wet it down and I should have used some chemicals because that was really, really salty water and yeah, <laughs> not the best results. So let's check it out when we scrape that water off. All right, so we see that the scraper is doing its job. It's not perfect, but it's doing it. And there's a little bit of room of uh, Im put improvements, really. So that's where you come in. So here I'm doing another example, just pouring on water. Um, just checking how it is and how it can scrape that off. And it's doing a good job, but it doesn't make it as perfect as a bot one. But then again, this is a tool that you can print at home. And well, sometimes it's worth saving money. If you do save money. The Scrapers are pretty cheap, but let's not talk about that. All right, so the scraper didn't turn out like the best typical object ever, because in actual use, it's a little bit weird. I think it's pretty interesting to have these features, to have an interchangeable uh, blade or whatever you want to do. So um, I'm now looking for more ideas what I could have to make this scraper or cleaning solution or cat litter collector or uh, bonsai tree, uh, rake, <laughs> whatever you can come up, I need the IDs and I will keep posting this on my, not the social medias, but yeah, there as well. But also on the different uploading sites like Thingiverse, Pinshape, My Mini Factory and so on. So you'll see more of this and I make sure that you either help me with the IDs or you can create yourself. So the standard connections, 
you get the handle. You can even do some stuff if you want to put it on uh, threads and stuff like that. So just tweet me what you've done and uh, I'm super excited to see what people can do with a handle. It's never been done before. All right, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure that you check out the patrons down below. And with that said, over and out. See you in the next video.